what's poppin' people? You already know me, it's MSD! And today we're gonna see some actual gameplay footage of Mr. Minecraft Steve! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I wanna get some things out of the way first. If you have not subscribed to the channel, my goal by the end of 2020 is 200, please, for the love of all things sacred, all things Smash, all things Sakurai, give me a little sub. I promise you I'm putting more work into my content. I have a few things in the back that I'm working on. I have a few things in the front that are done. And I do want to make more Pokemon content as well. You already know me, I'm the Nintendo guy. This is what I'm here for, this is what I do. I'm so excited to watch all this stuff to make the content for you guys and to communicate with you guys. All the social media is in the description and the Despacito. Whew, I'm excited guys. Like I even showered like you're gonna see a lot of hair flips and shit because my hair is wet. And uh, I dress nice for you guys. I, ooh, I do this for you. I do this for you because I love you guys. You guys are amazing. The support you guys have given me. I think that one reaction video to uh, Pokemon Crown Tundra has like almost 10k views. That's insane. That literally almost had me crying at work. Like, bro, I don't. I've never had those kinds of numbers before. That was insane. You guys are amazing. Like, I literally. That's not even. That's. Uh, I might seem artificial, right? But I promise. I swear to goodness that it's not. This is just insanity it's crazy and you guys are amazing for doing all this we have some smash news coming up now Woo! 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 hello mr sakura do business with other companies i don't employ any staff and i'm not hiring just so you know Oh, okay. I'd like to introduce a 7th DLC character for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate from Minecraft. I'm recording this in mid-August. Japan is still strongly affected by the coronavirus and we're being asked to stay indoors. As is the world. Um, we are now seeing more confirmed cases in Japan than a few months ago. Get better everyone, stay indoors, wear a mask. Super Smash Bros. team is also continuing development from home. It's still difficult to gather in the studio and record because of the situation. That's why I'd like to present from home once again. So, here we are again. It's just me here. No recording, staff, no one to laugh at my jokes. It's lonely. Oh, <laughs> But we have to do what we can. Oh, no. Oops, sorry. Also, apologies to some of our overseas viewers, but today's presentation will be subtitled. Not with me around, I'll say it all! It's still hard for us to add voiceovers right now. What's been especially difficult during development is that I, myself, haven't been able to playtest with other people very often. When developing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I normally battle with staff every day at lunchtime, and I use those sessions to make adjustments to balance. This isn't possible at the moment. We recently got to the point where we can use the fighter in non-public online battles, meaning I've been able to playtest the fighter more. However, it's still not enough. With remote development being challenging as it is, there may be some significant differences between the version in this presentation and the final product. Well then, let's get right into it. As always, I'll explain things to you while I play. Please note that the camera I'm using is different from the one you'll see in the final product. The camera? Maybe it's a character. I misread. Maybe. Steven, now let's join the battle! Woo! This is Steve, one of the characters from Minecraft. We've made some minor adjustments. But at a glance, he looks just like he does in the original game. His elbows and knees don't bend, he's rectangular. Even his walk is from the original game. If you tilt the control stick up or down, it tilts its head, just like in the original game. <laughs> hey! One of his taunts he'll lead a stick, although you'll only get two or three of these per cow in the original game. For his other taunts, we've included gestures that make him like, for example, Hello, I'd like to play Minecraft today. Yeah, that's it. That's what he's saying. These are his physical characters. Uh, characteristics. He doesn't jump very high. For stages like Battlefield, we set the height of the platforms so that most fighters can reach them with one jump. 
Steve but in Steve's case, he can't even manage. He has a double jump up there. He can only manage a little lower than the short hop of the other fighters. But his manner jump isn't as low. His low jump is just right for getting the block he creates, but I'll explain that later. Okay, okay. Steve has two additional color variations. Although they're less like color variations, more like costume changes from the original game. And this is Alex. She's another character from the original game. She also has two additional color variations. And with Steve and Alex variations, there's six total. Next, for P7, we have a zombie. Just like the zombie is given in the original game, this one doesn't burn so much, so don't worry. <laughs> You'll be able to use to see extremely rare sight of a zombie placing blocks. Hmm. Next, P8 is Enderman. He looks quite cute, doesn't he? Don't just look, <laughs> just don't look him in the eyes. It's kind of like an Enderman skin, but his arms are somewhat thinner than Steve's. You'll be able to see an Enderman flying through the air using Electra, another incredibly rare sight. Now, I'll explain the regular moves. So these are like his neutrals. I'm repeating myself, but please be aware that this is still in development. Things may look or play very differently in the final product. You can see the sword in neutral attacks, smash attacks, and the aerials. These are the basic attacks. If you hold the attack button down, you can walk while repeatedly swinging the sword. You can also do this while retreating. You can also hit opponents repeatedly. Performing repeated neutral attacks while moving has a similar feel to Mega Man. You can also jump while doing this. It has a short reach, but it's good at keeping your opponents in check with damage. If you get hit, do your best to get away. Now the side smash attack. This is a sweep attack that exists only in the Javi edition of Minecraft, not the Bedrock edition. Just in case you didn't know. Like most of Steve's attacks it has a short reach, but it's got a wide range to compensate. It also has a strong launch power, so it's one of the moves you definitely want to land. The sword is also used to attack when hanging from an edge, and when getting up from the ground. Next is the axe. It's assigned to attack overhead. Is that your up tilt then? Even in the original game, when you cut down the trees, you look up and swing the axe. As with the sword, you can hold the button down to keep swinging the X. Use it as an up tilt to juggle opponents like beanbags, or just as an up air attack. Think of it as an upward facing chain attack, you can't go wrong. Next, the pickaxe. It's used for mining. Oh, there we go, that's a mechanic. But it's also used in dash attacks, forward air attacks, and back air attacks. First, the dash attack. For the short range Steve, having an attack that goes forwardly really helps. Forward really helps. It's also got plenty of launch power. Now for the air attack and back air attack. They look similar, but they differ a bit. Porter has a meteor effect. Why? <laughs> back air attack has a high launch and knock power. Knockback power. Use them accordingly. If you jump while swinging the sword, you end up with a sword attack. If you want to use a pickaxe, make sure you leave a gap after using your sword attack. You can use craft to strengthen each tool. Your equipment, your power, and the following order wood, stone, iron, gold, and diamond. I'll explain crafting later. Oh, right. Weapons and tools have limited durability, so if you use them too much, they'll break. My sword just broke. Okay. When this happens, you'll attack barehanded, which is extremely weak. However, all of your tools operate independently from one each other. So even if your sword breaks, you can still use your axe and pickaxe. Next, I'll introduce other attacks that don't use the basic tools. The down tilt attack uses flint and steel. It sets a fire in front of you. The fire works like PK fire, so it's slightly affected by gravity. 
Attack lasts for a long time, so you may be able to use it to stop opponents who are charging at you or to block projectiles. Let's go. More than anything, it's great at preventing recoveries. I hate to be on the receiving end of this. Me too, dude. The up smash attack is a magma block. Magma block is placed overhand and can be mined quickly. It doesn't consume any materials. Will it stay there? It lasts for a long time, which makes it great against airborne opponents. It leaves you pretty open, though, so be careful. Oh, it looks like you can't move. Cool. Floods high enough to go through platforms like the ones in Battlefield, so it's good for controlling opponents on platforms above. Of course, the magma attack is ideal to use right after juggling an opponent with up tilt attacks. The smash attack uses lava bucket, it dumps lava left and right. Distinctive feature is the length of the attack and the low height which it launches opponents. Launch trajectory is an effectively an effective tool against Little Mac, who has poor recovery. I did not read that well. <laughs> this is the magma block. This is lava. Magma. Lava. Magma. Lava. It seems the term magma is used to refer to stuff inside the earth and lava is what comes out on the surface. Okay. I guess the terms magma and lava are used to refer to two different things outside of Japan. <laughs> Down air attack is the anvil. It uses one piece of iron, but it's a super effective falling attack. Alright, so it's a suicide down here. Oh, he kind of jumped off of it. Like Kirby Stone, it falls straight down, but you can cancel partway through. Oh, you can Looney Tune someone. The grab uses a fishing rod. It has a wide range, and it can even grab opponents who are slightly lower than you. If your opponent is grabbed, they'll be thrown inside of a fence. Backward throw uses a fishing rod, just like that. Simple, right? Down throw uses a piston. Right. Whoops, forward throw is a low. The up throw uses a straight up. Pretty good finishes. Down throw summons an, evil, summons an anvil to flatten the points. However, this can do iron, so if you don't have any, the throw becomes a simple push into the ground. Not good. Either way, it's suited for combo attacks. Now, I'll introduce the special modes. And Minecraft, it's Minecraft, so mining and crafting are essential. From this point on, I'll be explaining using Alex. Mutual specials work differently depending on whether you use it on the ground, uh, at a crafting table, or in the air. They are mine, craft, emitter, okay, create a block respectively. There's a lot going on here, so please listen closely. Yeah, oh my god, there is a lot. I have a lot of questions. With mine, you can dig in the area in front of you to collect materials. You can get really good materials, so it's important to just try digging when you have time. The tool you use automatically changes depending on the area. If it's wood, you'll use the axe. If it's something like this, you'll use the pickaxe. Digging on the ground like this uses a shovel. You can also mine walls. Oh, he found diamond! The speed at which you dig and the materials are most likely to differ depending on the kind of area you're digging. For example, here, I'm digging dirt. That's why he had to recreate every stage in the game! To accommodate for this feature. Wow, Mr. Sakurai. You're amazing. You and your team. This difference in the material being collected is because you're on an iron plate. In other words, stage like this, you can actually get a lot of wood. Look at that! On a stage like this, you'll always get iron. Counter picks are super different for this character. Wow, that's such a bizarre feature. That's so refreshing. It's like the Geomancer job in Final Fantasy. As for the places that don't really have water stone, in places like this you can see a lot of sand being dug up. That's insane, dude. There's great one materials and treat them <laughs> as miscellaneous. On another note, when I said the materials differ depending on the stage, it makes me wonder about battlefield form and omega form stages, right? Kinda, yeah. Players who select battlefield form and omega form are generally like fighting without random elements. But if you use random battlefield rule or whatever you, uh, the tactics might end up changing completely. 
That's why if you select battlefield form or omega form stages, materials will appear at a predetermined rate regardless of the surface. Very good to know. May look a little odd, but please understand that we wanted to prioritize the match quality. Among different materials, iron is highly versatile and is very important. But digging on an iron floor takes time, so there's no guarantee that an iron only stage is better. Other materials can be quickly exhausted, so you might need to change up your tactics a little bit. Also, if you mine more materials than you can carry, you'll end up discarding them. That's what's happening with the materials being thrown backwards. Doing that is wasteful, so it's better to use the materials in your possession. Next, craft is for making tools with the materials that you have. Steve and Alex's tools have limited durability and can break when attacking or when mining, like this. When that happens, you'll need this crafting table. On the outside of each battle, one will always appear by your start point. Stand in front of it and press the special boom button. You craft the tool using the materials you have. If the tool isn't broken, you can restore its durability. Highest quality tool will be crafted from the materials you have. Okay, so it, if you have like gold and diamond, it'll always pick diamond. At least that's what I'm getting out of it. Of course, diamond sword is the most powerful. <laughs> he has a diamond sword. The sword axe and pickaxe and shovel all get crafted at the same. What a bargain. Oh! It upgrades everything! You craft a diamond sword. The <laughs> pickaxe also powers up. <laughs> the pickaxe is used for mining as well as attacking. So it's super convenient. Which I'm... Bro! <laughs> he turned the sword into a fucking axe! So you'll definitely want to be powering up tools. It's important to dig up diamonds in order to craft diamonds. Oh my god, Sakurai is pimping! Just so you know, golden tools are fragile and have low power, but they speed up your attack, so there's some merit to it. Yeah, look at that, that's way faster. Also set orders to the materials when digging in certain uh, areas. It's not just random. So keep digging, you'll eventually get diamonds. Hey! By the way, Alex's attacks and opponent's attacks can break You'll be in trouble without it, but as you can see, it'll come back quickly, even after breaking. Okay, but can that block like projectiles? Above all else, there's one thing you should remember. Press the special move button while shielding this way. Oh! You can summon your crafting table no matter how far away it is. Okay, that's really good. So you're not like camping one area. You can camp every area. You're camping out. Yeah, that's what I'm. Oh my goodness gracious. You can't summon it while dodging, though. You have to shield and press a special move. You can also use a crafting table to summon else to summon. Or you can say it's a strange feature. It's a little weird, right? Next is create block. The special move in the button near without moving the control stick. Alright, so that's still your neutral B. We're still on neutral B. Like the crafting tools, this is your cheapest or simplest materials first. If you hold down the button, jump or walk, you continue making blocks. Looks like they break by themselves. Quite the feature, eh? Let's take a moment to thank our programmers in particular. Yeah, for real. To make this work, they had to update every single stage in the game. However, a block will break soon after you climb on it. The attacks in those of your opponents will also break the blocks. Bumping your hand on a block will break it. Like this. It takes time for a block to break depending on the hardness of the material. However, if you're wondering how to use this, you can use it in response to being launched. Oh, neat! Or if your opponent is waiting for you to land, you can just tell them no! This is totally showing off, but you can use it to block projectiles. Oof! Plus, you might even be able to do this. <laughs> no! <laughs> Can Dorf and Lil Mac eat your hearts out? Oh my god! Ah! 
<laughs> That's so dumb. I love it. Wow. I don't know if it'll go that easily in the final product, but at any rate, you can see the possibilities. However, there's a restriction in creating blocks off screen. Ah, gotcha. You can't create your blocks beyond this pink line. There's also an upper limit. Okay. I, he keeps saying final product like it's not coming out for a while still. So I'm a little skeptical. Some blocks near the edge of the screen break quickly, so. Ah, yes. Much faster. Bro, infinite recovery potential. When creating blocks, the cheapest materials are used first. But when using iron. Oh, but using iron is wasteful. Piece of iron. So you'll need to keep a watchful eye on the, uh, the gauge. Okay. Please look at the material gauge above the Alex's damage. Oh, okay. That's how you can tell what you got. The materials you collected by ratio. In this case, from left to right, we have dirt, wood, stone, and iron. Only iron is used in multiple moves, so about eight pieces are shown, regardless of ratio. Collect any more than that, and the gauge won't increase. Using iron lowers a gauge one piece at a time. This is how you use iron. It's decreasing one piece at a time. You need four pieces of iron to craft an iron tool. Gold and diamond are shown in a separate section. When this is flashing, means you can craft a tool. In this case, we can craft something out of diamond. But you can also dig up redstone. But that isn't shown in the gauge. Okay. My explanation got a little long, but please try out mining, crafting, and block creation. Alright. You need an iron to bring out the Minecraft. And other materials are needed to craft rails. You won't be able to place rails if you're lacking materials. As a result, something like this happens. It's possible that if you're on stage with just iron, you can easily bring out the minecart, but you can't place rails. You can jump to get out the minecart at any time. Just like in Minecraft, the minecart isn't good at, for climbing hills. But here, you can use special rails to accelerate, called powered rails. I'm talking about these. Oof. You'll recognize them as soon as they come out. They have a gold red and redstone. You can place powered rails at any time. Actually, the faster you go, the harder it will be for your opponents to evade. It's a strong special when used head on, but it has other uses as well. When you jump out of the Minecraft and scoop an opponent with it, Okay. Oh! Oh, that's bad! <laughs> you can use this to pick up an opponent, or you can attack while they're vulnerable. The more damage an opponent has taken, the longer they'll be stuck in the minecart. Oh, that's so devious. At any rate, they want to control the stick. Whatever. Up special is Elite. Ultra. Ultra or something to look forward to after defeating the enemy. Here you unfold it. You will then light the firework rocket. You fly straight forward. You can use it normally, but you can also aim up or down. Well, it functions the same as a glider. It will stall if you aim too high. So is gliding back? You can fly relatively freely, so use it to... Oh, it looks like there is a limit. She went to free fall right there, right? Oh, 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 never mind, that's full gliding! Personally, I think the textbook is on its trajectory unless you grab into an edge. You can actually attack when, the lighting, when lighting the firework rocket. Okay. It's only in the first moment or so, meaning you'll be... You need to be careful during the rest of the move so you're not left vulnerable. You can do this to fly quite far, but be careful in doing so. You can't hover at all when this happens. You'll end up somewhere like this, you're out of luck. If you use a move over the edge, make sure to turn and face the other way before the firework engine ignites. So yeah, just be reverse it. Stuff. No materials are needed to use the Elytra. Use as many times as you want, not limited to a certain amount of uses. But be careful, as it will fall off on its own after some time. 
Next is a down special, TNT. So you need probably redstone. They can craft with gunpowder, but here. Like Visual explosion is also based on Minecraft. Naturally, the TNT is designed to explode, and the explosion is really powerful. Oh! Sh <laughs> the TNT won't explode immediately when you put it down, though. I thought it was a chance that you could get caught in the blast. Instead, you can get some distance using a redstone circuit, then detonate the TNT from far. Cool. So consume redstone. Use a down special, place a redstone circuit, then step on the pressure plate to detonate. Watch out! If you place a pressure plate right next to the TNT stepping on it, it will constantly take damage as well. Opponents can also step on the pressure plate. You can even deliberately place the pressure plate in a spot where your opponent might step on it. Hey. Additionally, if you both kind the explosion, the one who stepped on the pressure plate won't be sent flying as far. Okay. Don't use firearms or fire-based attacks around the TNT either. It'll ignite very easily. Typical use for this... Oh, 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 he got him! <laughs> you can also use the minecart I introduced earlier to set off the pressure plate. Oh, jeez, that's, uh, that's a lot of resources, too. Final Smash is called House of Boom. Did anyone order a creeper? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> you may or may not build some of the Minecraft for your opponent, whatever. Here's how it works. Summon a giant piston, sends you to your opponent, and then boom, boom, and then you taunt in your final smash. It's an invigorating attack. You'd be really satisfied if you can pull this one off. Only one opponent gets trapped in the house of boom, but you can hit others with other opponents with the piston. Cool, cool. A few minor things as well. When you pull off a perfect shield, you'll form a perfect shield. Something which is a special shield. What? What? Go to sleep, it'll go like this. If it sings or something like that. It's good to have a bed alongside when not setting on an adventure, right? Let's see what happens when you get swallowed by Kirby. I need this! I need to see this! Pixel Kirby! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> He's precious! He's precious! I don't think there are very other Minecraft titans that bring them details together in one action experience. I hope you're looking forward to it. Minecraft World. Let's talk about the stage. It looks like it's RNG. Minecraft, there are multiple areas, each with its own biome. So, fun fact, the background background is actually a still image. And there is actually a quest to find the seeds of these. Plants biome, the standard one. At least that's what it was speculated. <laughs> if I use a special camera, you won't find the proper version of the game. You'll see the villagers are all safely tucked in bed, as they should be. Good, good for them. Zombies also peeking inside. When dawn breaks, the zombies and skeletons get burned up by the sunlight. The villagers are relieved and can finally venture outside again. You can also break objects in front of you like this. It's the same for all the biomes. If you break everything, the stage will be flat and it won't be restored to the way it was before. Next is the birch forest biome. There aren't any villages in this biome. There are sheep and cows wandering about in the background. Here, if you break a tree, you'll reveal a platform. 
Breaking both trees will reveal two platforms. One on the right and one on the left. Next is the savannah. Yeah, they do look like actual trees. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but they do look like trees. Oh, so you can probably mine those trees and get wood and stuff. Taiga. Slightly cold region where. Uh, conifers grow. Might not be able to experience temperature. Oh, okay, well. uh, we felt that it'd be difficult to play if the tree had the exact same shape. So we made it so you can get on top of the tree! Hey! But <laughs> Spam also has mossy stones. They got unbreakable blocks and you'll be able to obtain multiple materials from each block before they break. God, look at that. They put this in Smash Brothers. Next is a snowy tundra biome. It's a freezing region with permafrost. Here's an igloo in the middle. Inuit, the northern regions of Canada, build igloos in hunting areas, but they're not particularly close to the house. To the house. So let's break it then. Take that. <laughs> also, uh, what, in Minecraft, it's good to examine an area beneath an igloo when you find one. You might find some good materials. Last is the shore biome. Stone shore biome. Stones are piled up in the center. There's also a little ledge. You can break it with your head. And you won't get any materials doing that. By the way, when you break stones, and you might find wood or something in an unnatural place. Like so. Truth is, we made it so that you can obtain materials in the same place in every biome. For example, this is what it looks like when you break all the stones in store shown, the plains by It's like this. We made it so that all the same materials are always along the main level of the stage. Oh, okay, okay. One more important point. Being able to get iron is important. So we made it so it gets lots of iron and come out of that one spot. So... <laughs> We know where to camp you guys out now. Of course, Minecraft World has also a battlefield form and an Omega field. However, there's fixed uh, planes modes inside of alternate between biomes. Terrain doesn't change, but there is a night and day cycle. I do really like that. It looks really nice. You see them in action. Alright, Sakurai, let's go! Now that I've explained all the details, I'd like to show you an actual battle. Once again, we've made additions to the DLC Spirit War. It's here. I want to demonstrate fighting against various opponents based in Minecraft enemies. Okay, okay. Tell me about it. Okay. Got like golems and stuff. Remember when you create a spirit team based on your opponent's abilities, but this time I'm not going to use any spirits. Look at you! I avoid fighting against a novice spirit, so even with my own, I should be able to win pretty easily. Look at him, he's a champion! He's doing this for you guys! He's doing this for you guys! My opponent might has super armor. I'll be facing 10 zombies. 20 HP each. This is a savanna biome. Bro, look at him! I'm gonna get lots of materials while I can. <laughs> My opponents have super armor, so things could get tough if I'm not careful. Oh, that's a grab! Once I hit him twice, they use a down air attack. Ooh. Good strategy, good strategy. No, wait, lava. Yeah, <laughs> it's magma, lava. <laughs> Even without spirits, I have a feeling I can win against opponents of this caliber. I believe in you, Sakurai. Get that bag. I'm gonna take out the Asia trees so the Minecraft can get through. Oh, 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 oh! Yabito! <laughs> yeah, you kind of suck the- Ah, oh, oh, Sakurai! You gotta rely on the anvil for my down there attack, since I have lots of iron. Oh, I'll stage with you! Let's go! Or not. <laughs> Let's try that again. Well, we have liftoff. And again. 
Well, it was a novice spirit. It's not exactly challenging. However, I don't feel satisfied yet, so I'm going to try several more challenges. We get to see a lot of this. Let's go. I'm also playing as Steve and Zombie. So that last battle didn't really show off the collaboration. Okay, I'm going to play against a slime next. Oh, so green Kirby. <laughs> My opponents will be stronger this time, so I'm, no, I'm not equipping any spirits. What a champ. Maybe tough, but I think I can still win. Or maybe not. Quite is based on the slimes in Minecraft, so it'll break apart. So like you hit it and then two of them will pop up? I really want to get as many materials as I can before my opponent gets Oh! Oh! Another one! Let's go! Oh my god! Combos on combos on combos, Sakurai? How dare you? So it's best to wait for them to get right above me. Oh my god! He killed that Kirby and now there's three more Kirbys. Run away! <laughs> One more materials. Yeah, get your materials. Oh, it's a small Kirby now. Oh. These slimes are getting smaller and smaller. It doesn't seem like uh, throws will be very effective. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> That's how you beat 100 man melee. <laughs> Some TNT is a parting gift. Oh, boom! Got him! House of Boom. This one just, I'm going to play some TNT in a good spot. Oh! Uh, I'm sorry I'm yawning. I work night shift, I haven't slept in almost 24 hours. Start playing lots of different characters, so give it a try. By the way, the normal spirit board now has a rematch feature. But if you enter a rematch without a spirit, it doesn't bring any items directly to the high score. In that case, the damage you receive and the time it takes won't matter. I wonder if there's anyone who's defeated all opposing spirits without any aid from ally spirits. Does anyone who has pulled this <laughs> raise your hand? Hey, let's go. Actually, I haven't touched it. Would you guys like to see that at some point? I'll make a video out of it. There are a lot of incredible players. Perhaps you could hold a time attack contest or something. This could be one of the hardest challenges in game. This is a battle for only chosen few, bro. I can't recommend it. I feel like he's leading to something. Also, Steve Route is the playable classic most likely. Really nice. Song list. Next, I'd like to talk about the music. Although Super Smash Bros. Ultimate features a wide variety of tracks, we unfortunately weren't able to include music from the original game. Of course, since this is such a frantic game, it would be next to impossible to make the tracks from the original game work in that context. It's very, very like chill music to relax and study to. Instead, we've reselected several tracks from spin-offs and mini-games that work in the context of a fighting game. Okay. Including tracks from Minecraft Earth and Minecraft Dungeons. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. We'll be providing a rage versions. Holland, yeah, that's a good one. Earth, Cloud Tower Crafter, Toys on the Tier, Dance of the Blocks, Glide, and Arch, Illager. Minecraft World has its own day and night cycle. The tone of several of our ranges will shift to match. Cool! That's it. I don't think there are very many other games that could have seen Minecraft spin off that make so many use of specific moves from the original game. I mean, this honestly looks insane. It's such a unique character.
This is planned for October 13th, so 10 days from now. Yeah, Super Smash Bros. Volume 2 automatically just received the DLC. You can purchase it on its own. And some Mii Fighter costumes. I always love seeing these. Oh, they're gonna add a bunch of costumes, aren't they? They will present some kind of collaboration. But since we're talking about Minecraft today, we've added several costumes from this game. Oh my god. They're trying to get a bag. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. Alright, extra Mii Fighter costumes. Round 7. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, pop. Creeper. All right. Dig it. I dig it. Pig brawler. <laughs> Diamond armor sword fighter. All right. That's a good one. That's that's a pretty good one. What else? What else? Tower of Draga. I have no idea what that is. Gil? I legitimately do not know what that is. Bomberman! Yo, let's go! That's pretty cool. I mean, it's probably literally just the model they already had, but now you can play as it. Travis. What's Travis? <laughs> wow! And all these people wanted Travis from No More Heroes as an actual character. <laughs> they got mead. <laughs> oh, everyone in the chat saying Travis Scott right now. I hate everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's uh, that's October thirteenth for you. I don't know if I'll get any of those DLC costumes, but Minecraft for sure. I already exist as an assist trophy, but now I can use them as a Mii Fighter. Fighter color is set to match the Mii Fighter's colors. Neat! But just because you're a Bomberman doesn't actually mean you have more bombs. Why not try an Xbox only bound for a change of pace? Because that sounds awful. <laughs> Amiibo! Next piece of Amiibo news. News is about Amiibo. Yes, I got my Joker and Hero the other day. Let's go. And Joker really does look amazing. This one's have right here production versions of Amiibo. Next one would be... Next one would be... Ha <laughs> <laughs> Banjo and Kazooie! Hey! Let's go! Let's talk about it! A rare prototype sent to his home. 3D model of Banjo Kazooie being made by Nintendo. Like it's the early 2000s. Oh my god. Terry, 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 Mulder! Bereto Sensei. I want to cry. I want to cry. I want to cry. I want to cry so bad right now. No! Terrible guards in there! Terrible guards right there! He got me! He got me so good! <laughs> Release is planned for 2021! <laughs> will an Amiibo for Steve be made? If it's going to be produced, it better be easier compared to the other fighters. So that's the five Amiibos for Volume Pass 1. When you think about it, the Fighters Pass is a pretty good deal. Oh, of course! If you get five or six DLC fighters, along with the stages, and lots of music, just for the price of two Amiibo. 
この個体をすべて買うお値段に満たない価格で、ファイナルパスを全て購買するすべてを購買するすべてを購買するすべてを購買するすべてを購買するすべてを購買するすべてを購買するすべてを購買するすべてを購買するすべてを購買するすべてを購買するすべてを買うすべてを買うすべてすでに配信され、スタッフは、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私たちのアプリで、私